Welcome back to the channel. A short one this week, we're gonna show you how to fit a tail mount really, really simply. Loads of ways to, to attach your transmitters. Leg mounts in undergrowth give off a poor signal. Plectrums, brilliant, put a bell on there as well. Can rip out two tail feathers at once on impact. We just now, I've tried everything. Neck mounts on micros with a, a rubber band, the correct way, work brilliantly. Tried all sorts here. Backpacks, I love them when they're fitted perfectly. A lot of birds hit the fulcrum center, most are non-hunting, but even my hunting birds now, I just do it the simplest way possible. The downside is you can lose a deck feather if it catches on a, the top wire strand of a wire fence, or as the bird takes game hard into cover, it can catch all that weight of one transmitter all being forced through one deck feather, it can pull free. Every way as its downfalls, I've gone back to the most basic way. So you need your stuff laid out ready. Some, something to wrap your bird up in, uh, a casting jacket or a dry towel, something padded, a cushion, anything, like your old coat, anything for that bird to be resting on while you're performing the operation. Plenty of stuff because you're working with arrow dye. This is what you're gonna need. Some arrow dye, a little blob. Super glue is useless. If you don't use any arrow dye, the crimp will pull off. Now you might think that's a safe way, so it saves ripping the feather out, the transmitter will pull out. They pull off too easy, sometimes they just fall off. You want that transmitter on your bird when you lose it for sure. If you use super glue, it's rubbish. Super glue gel, you might get away with. Just get yourself a blob of arrow dye, any old arrow dye. It just gap fills between the crimp and the feather shaft and really holds it on there. You're gonna need your tail mount crimp from Marshall. Cost you an arm and a leg with delivery. It's ridiculous. You can buy these, you can buy 20 of these from China or somewhere for the price of one from Marshall. They're a hundred times better. It's as simple as that. The cheap ones are not just a cheap version. These are better. A little tiny tail crimp. There's no doubt about it. It has a way up, it has notches. I don't know if you can see that. Little notches, I can't see them, I'm not wearing my glasses. And the notches always point up towards the, towards the bird's head and your prongs come from below. The notches seat the prongs on your transmitter. If you cock up and put this on the wrong way up, upside down, you'll be okay. It will still be okay, but do it the right way. Talcum powder, that arrow dye is gonna go where you don't want it to go, on your bird's feathers. Blind it after the operation with talcum powder. Stop it sticking to everything. You're gonna need your tail mount crimps. Eagle, eagle crimp size, micro crimp size, standard crimp size. Get the right ones for the crimps that you're using. Okay, of course, one thing you do need is to catch your bird up. Come over here, Emily. We're in our junk room. I'm trying not to show you all the junk I've got to take down the burn pile. The bird's hooded, guys. Learn to hood your falconry birds when you start training them, because then they don't bait on the glove or anything like that. They keep really still. You're not going to be the baddie. The bird's not going to say, whoa! If you do this with your bare hands, all you're going to do is seriously ruffle those feathers. You're going to get sweaty. You're going to get stressed. Your bird feathers are going to be way more protected with any kind of cloth. Yes, if you've got a silk scarf, use that. We've got an old towel. That bit will be cut out. Take 10. Secure the bird around the shoulders. Get your fingers around each side of its thighs, its legs. The bird's gonna face away from whoever's operating. Emily's gonna take charge of the towel. It's a Chilean blue eagle buzzard. Generally, eagles are less hassle than other birds like falcons. A bit higher, you got him? Yeah. You sure about that? Yeah, I've got him. We're gonna be quick. We're not messing about with plectrums or anything like that. You wanna go for the deck feather. So they've got 12 feathers. One, two, three, four, molting, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because um, he's molting away. We often put these crimps outside of the deck feathers, the side nearest your right hand as you try and hood the bird, if you like, because our birds are molting all through the summer. Your hunting bird isn't, but we are gonna go for a deck feather in this case. There's your deck feather. 
Remember, this is just rough and ready, nice and simple. Just showing you the very basic way, just to separate it out. You can, if you wish, take a sharp knife and just remove some of the webbing from the area of the shaft you're going to work with. If you don't do this, it will still work out fine, don't you worry. We're gonna take our crimp. We're gonna feel, because we're blind, we haven't got our glasses on, which way up it's meant to be. Line it up in your crimping tool. Remember which way is up. A little blob of, a little blob of araldite. Doesn't have to be the super fast setting stuff. And we're just gonna, using a very thin tool, not one that's too thick for the job. Just a little blob in there. It's like that sort of game where you've got to feel which way up it is because you forgot. Can you see that, Emily? Yeah, that's right. I literally should have put my glasses on. Okay, it's so over the shaft, can you see that? Make sure it's nice and square and crimp it up. The reason you're using the right size pliers is because I'm doing this as tight as I can. If you've got the right size pliers for the, the right size crimp, you can't over tighten it and crush the feather shaft, but still use a bit of feel. You wanna make sure none of that glue's going anywhere and it doesn't matter what you do with your fingers, it is gonna cake onto everything. So get yourself just some plain old talcum powder. Make sure the crimp is clear because once this stuff goes hard, if it's filling up the crimp, you're in trouble. And then finally, we're gonna take a pair of scissors. If there's any of this bum fluff, it goes down over here. What you can do, I'm not gonna on this case, you can just, whoa, you can just simply, with a sharp pair of scissors, any of these feathers, that hang over here and get in the way. If need be, I am gonna do a couple. He knows I'm gonna do this. We literally, as brutal as it looks, we're gonna cut off some of that bum fluff and just make it easier to put that on. He's not gonna care. Okay, so the job's done. It's lined up, it's the correct way up. We put a little bit of talc on just to blind any arrow dye that's still tacky, especially just make sure underneath where it might have oozed out a little bit. That can be used right away. Best to use it tomorrow, but that's all solid, ready to go. I'm gonna swap over the bird. Chilling Blue being a buzzard, he's putting up more of a fight than a true eagle, that's for sure. Eagles are the easiest birds to cast. Falcons are probably the worst for when it comes to feistiness. And of course, you've gotta hold the bird firmly, but it's gotta be able to breathe. Be ready for it to tense up, and you tense up if you have to. There we go, space. So we're outside, plenty of space. We don't want those wingtips touching anything. And there's the finished article. Brilliant for our display birds. But as I say, I've now gone back to this for all the hunting birds as well. They've all got their pros and cons. Lots of people will tell you they've had this come out or pulling out a feather. And it says the transmitter goes under a wire or something like that while the bird's at high speed. It literally snags the top of the transmitter and it pulls out the feather. And I said to you before, if you use no glue, people say that's fine because it just slides down the feather shaft. Tried it all. You will often lose those things just flying around. They'll slip down and they'll slip off. Araldite's your best bet. You choose the way you mount your transmitters. I've tried every single way you can think of. And nowadays we've gone back to that simple effect. And you can see hardly ruffled on his feathers. But if I'd have held him with my eczema covered sweaty hands, these feathers would take quite a few days to be preened back into good condition. So always use a casting jacket or a towel. He's panting, a little bit stressed, it is hot. Hood your birds, completely different. And of course, he can hear my voice because I'm talking, but he doesn't know what's going on and he's not gonna form an enemy or distrust any of us because he was hooded long before this operation began. Chilling blue eagle buzzard. Cheers, Emily. Hope that helps some of you out. Hope it helps you out and gives you an idea how to do that task, uh, carry out the task. Uh, I hope, if not, 
Make sure you think about how you're gonna mount those transmitters to your bird. Um, look at the different ways of mounting them and think what's best for you and, and how you fly and how your birds work and the species of bird you've got. But for sure, here in the UK at least, you shouldn't be flying those birds without transmitters. We're privileged to fly birds here from other countries, foreign species. Uh, a lot of people don't seem to realise that in other parts of the world, many parts of the world, you're not allowed as a falconer to fly non-native species because technically we do let our birds go free temporarily and other countries have banned the flying of non-native raptors so that non-native species don't have the chance to become invasive species. We're very lucky here in the UK. Don't abuse your privileges for the sake of all of us falconers. Put a transmitter on your bird. If you don't think it's worth putting it and spending out on the kit, find something else to do. Find, go fishing, go shooting, take up wildlife photography. We've really, really got to be looking after ourselves here in UK as part of the, the world of falconry. Go and talk to the guys in America. Most of you and me probably wouldn't be falconers in America. We wouldn't have the privilege to travel to a mentor, to know a mentor, to jump through the hoops, to have the money. Don't abuse it, guys. Enjoy your falconry. Do those little things that make all the difference. Like and subscribe. You know the crack, but it helps the channel no end. And I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.